everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for the additional subscribers again. Thank you so much. Um, please help me grow my my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so for today, um, actually, someone asked me, a subscriber DM'd me, and she asked me some questions about Korea and. I think maybe she's planning to live here, right? Why not? Um, so, I have here some 10 questions uh, about living in Korea. Like, my opinion. Oh, my opinion. So, actually, I came here um, in the year 2010. So, uh, me and my husband, you know, we, we had our wedding on April. Um, 2010 and then just a few months in June I came here so it's been roughly yeah 12 years almost 12 years this year um, since I came first to impression of Korea uh, well before I came to Korea I actually um, knew about a lot of things about Korea already because I was um, maybe you already know this but I I was and I still am a K-drama addict so <laughs> that means I already watched a lot of dramas before I came here but then it was really different from the things that I, I saw in K-drama so first and foremost when I first came here I was looking for real houses because like in K-dramas, you know, you can see some some of the the dramas that I saw at that time, like they had their own houses, like the ones we had in Philippines. So I was really looking for those kind of, of houses here. But then um, I just saw a lot of apartment buildings. Um, big and small apartment complex complex and also um, uh, just kind of like a, I don't know how do you call it but it's like a, when you when you you know when you talk about apartment buildings you usually think of the really big ones but then they have these small small buildings with like three three to four floors or three to like six floors um, and then we they call it a villa so my my perception of villa was very very different from what they you know what they mean by villa here so the villa I actually was um, I had a chance to live in a villa here and the villa is actually like a, an old I don't know, yeah, it's an old, like, a, a building, and um, you, ha you have those, uh, there are, like, six floors on that building. Was it six? I already forgot, but then it doesn't have an elevator, so you just use the stairs. So that time, I think we live in the second floor, third floor, I actually, for I think second floor, yeah. And also, um, that's my... My very first, my second one was, um, I was looking for police, not police, but like guards, security guards. Because like in the Philippines, everywhere you go, you can see a lot of security guards. So if you go to the bank, there would be a security guard. If you go to the mall, security guards are going to like um, check your, <laughs> your bags. But I didn't see any security guards no security guards even the banks you know they don't have any security guards so that was very impressive for me but they do have CCTVs all over the place like if you go to the banks like, like there would be like CCTV cameras everywhere like from one corner stuff like that and also the third one um, the third, my impression was, um, you know, the people, they got, they have this pali pali culture, which means like everything must be very fast. So 
everyone was like in a hurry all the time especially if you go to Seoul if you go to like Gyeonggi area you know you Seoul is the metropolitan city the you know it's the the capital city of Korea so if you go to Seoul like everyone is in a hurry like you know in the Philippines um, when we cross the street it's just like this normal way of crossing the street like you don't have to be in a hurry but here like people have are like like always in a hurry you have to be fast you know so at first um, when I was with my husband I would always ask my husband like why are, why are you so fast like I and then and then and then um, later I realized that oh it's not just him that's fast but everyone is really fast like everything is fast they want things to be fast you know so it was very very different for me because I live in a, <laughs> I live in a country I lived in a country where everything was kind of like slow even you know like when you buy in the, the cashier in the Philippines like um, they do it like this you know <laughs> like they they scan the items like this but then here's like so that's pretty fast right and um, another one was uh, they don't use of course now like before like maybe 12 years ago in the Philippines we still used a lot of plastic bags when we you know when we go to the supermarkets even until now there are some days though that there are no plastic bags right but here you really cannot see a plastic bag if there is a plastic bag then um, that plastic bag is actually uh, a trash bag so you have to pay for that trash bag so that you can use it to put your things in it so that trash bag is actually coded so it has it's like a, a serial serial code on the bottom of the plastic bag and each place has its own plastic bag so let's say if you buy a um, let's say if you buy uh, a plastic bag that plastic bag um, in Seoul a, a particular place in Seoul even in Seoul you have like many places like they have the goo so you have like different areas in Seoul right so if you go to this particular area and you buy a plastic bag and then if you go to another area you cannot use the same plastic bag so that's how they control probably this is how they control their trash and also a plastic bag can cost um, around like a hundred one one hundred one I forgot how much is it in peso but um, yeah it's around one hundred one it actually depends there's the one liter, two liter anyway there's a liter of plastic band and there's a big one and then there's a small one so yeah that's it and actually there's still many but um I'll just make it uh, fast well uh, at first um, mm, at first I think my biggest probably my biggest like um, difficulty was adjusting to eating Korean food all the time because like I'm a foodie I'm a huge 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 foodie I really love Philippine food even until that I really love Philippine food so it was really hard to adjust to that one so I because of you know missing Filipino food I missed home more so that was where my homesickness came from as for the other things uh, it's yeah, of course, it was a, a, a bit um, difficult because, you know, Philippine culture and Korean culture is really, really different from each other. From, yeah, from each other. So many things, as, as I think you can see it in dramas, right? But um, I have already, like, conditioned my mind to it. So, as for that, it wasn't that, like, really, really difficult. It's probably, yeah, it's probably that. And the food, and also, I think the biggest um, adjustment was, of course, learning how to speak the language. When I first came here, I did um, self-study on Korean, so I already had an idea. I, uh, I know 
a lot of Korean phrases. I can like understand a lot of words in Korean. I knew how to read and write, so that was not really like a problem for me. And you know, me and my husband, we just use English even until now. We use English as a means of communication. So, um, but you know, talking to people, talk, especially to my in-laws and other people, you really have to speak Korean. So yeah, that is the the, the biggest adjustment. So I had to like learn it all, as well as um, you know, learn more about the culture and stuff. I've mentioned to you in my answers on number two, right, and in number three also. So there are many, 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 many differences in, um, you know, from 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 Philippines. I mean. You know, from my country and to Korea. So, like, um, first, I think, I think the difference would, the first one would probably be like, um, how you have to be very polite in almost everything. So here, like, let's say, like, even the smallest things. Like, for example, you know, I think you've seen this in drama. So, so like, you have to bow when you greet someone especially if it's like older than you or people you don't know people who are anyway most of the time most of the time yeah i i, I just don't really bow to my students but but like my, my kids students but um like most of the time you just have to bow and uh, as a sign of respect and also let's say um Actually, here, the Korean culture really focuses on the word respect. So, if this is respect, and these are the branches. Like culture really, you know, it's basically like this. So, another one, um, what makes different, what makes Korea different from my country is also like, say, when you eat, and then there's an elder in the, in the group, like when you're eating with, let's say, your in-laws. So, the eldest member of the family should be the first one to eat or get his spoon or his his um, what do you call these chopsticks and then that time when he already tasted the food or he already started eating then that time you can proceed eating it's very bad to eat first okay and also if you eat something let's say you're having a snack you want to have a snack first you have to ask people in your, your your house like maybe you have your in-laws with you have you to ask them first do you do they want to eat right like i grew up in a i don't know about the other actually about other families in the philippines but like in my family we're like more of like um like uh uh like okay what's mine is mine what's yours yours like the kind of feelings we i'm we're, we're i'm not t- talking like we're, we're selfish and stuff it's just like it's just that like we grew up um, being like very um, like in my case very like responsible like like I have to be responsible for my own needs and my my brother has to do it for himself like kind of like that so like learning how to stand on one's feet so that one and also ah this one was a big a bit difficult for me um, uh, actually <laughs> I grew up in a this is also like in Philippines, you know, before, like in the older times, wherein they think men should be the like the breadwinner of the family, and so the the the, the wife, the wife should be like taking care of the children and should just stay home and stuff. And like so, like you know, old great culture really centers on that. So until now, there's still that kind of thing going around. Um, so. It was actually a bit difficult for me because I think, you know, men and women should be equal. Should, yeah, should be equal and, um, you know, like, like before, like, men shouldn't be cooking and s- stuff like that. Like, I've heard it from my other students also, like, they're married and then they, their, their husbands, you know, they they want to be served and things like those so it was really hard for me but luckily you know my husband cooks my husband do other stuff so 
So yeah, but um, with regards to that, I hope my son will also not, you know, really dwell on that one. I think men and women are equal. You know, they can be both breadwinners and they could be like taking care of children. So there's no really like gender role whatsoever. First and foremost, my favorite thing about Korea is their healthcare system. It's very, very, very different from my country. So healthcare system here is, you know, like it's if like if there's a the, the 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 highest positive word out there that would be my description for it. It's something that I really look up to, and I hope you know in Philippines and in other countries there, it would be like this. Like they have um, the best healthcare system. That's all I can say. Really, that's all I can say. Like, uh, also, it's not very expensive, especially that everyone, you know, they're entitled to have, um, you know, the health insurance from the government, right? So when they pay something, when they go to the hospital, when they go to the clinics, they just pay just very, very small amount. Um, actually. Just like any other countries, you know, I'm not saying, but there is still that kind of, I, I'm sure you've also heard it from other people, but um, there's still people who kind of like discriminate. I'm not saying that everyone is doing it, but um, there are, but you know, compared to like years ago and, to now, and, and now, I think the discrimination has been like um, steadily decreasing my opinion uh, and the people usually that discriminate are are actually actually most of them are like like old people not really like very old like I think the the, 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 uh, the new generation now and those in their 20s 30s 40s like like they are more open to it. I think it's it's more about learning about the different kinds of culture out there and stuff and with the like I said a while before like the discrimination and something um, you know I think that one is also like a case-to-case -case basis like some people I've heard many not many but like some some foreigners like Filipinos and stuff and then they said they they got discriminated and they, but you know it doesn't really happen all the time um, I did have an experience with it like long time ago already I, I totally had that experience wherein um, I felt like I was discriminated but but um, I, I, I think discrimination uh, discrimination is like like I, what I said a while ago uh, it's about educating yourself so I, f I feel I just feel bad for them that they don't know what they're doing they don't they just you know they just have their opinions about something when they're not really fully aware of the whole situation of the whole thing so yeah I think that one is it's not like something that like you should should really dwell on because that thing discrimination you know it is in every country even in Philippines I I hate to say this but in Philippines some people also discriminate other people so that one I think is like it's everywhere and it and it's it's sad but but like there's nothing really that we can we can do about it except for like educating people and um, you know Telling, not telling, but like learning more about the whole thing and why people discriminate other people. It's just that I think they just really need to be educated. Uh, okay, what do I want to say to you? Okay, okay, number one, you have to learn the language. So, that is very, very important. Learning the language is very, 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 very important. It's hard to survive in Korea if you don't know the language. And also, if you know the language, um, you have the power, actually. You have the power to kind of like secure yourself 
and also you have the power to protect yourself and i think learning the language makes you do everything it's it's not like you know in philippines if you don't know filipino if you don't know tagalog if you don't know Cebuano, you can always speak english and everyone will just listen to you here it's not the case only very few people understand english when you ask them like um you know like randomly on the street if you ask some people random english they would like they'd, they'd be shocked they'd be in awe sometimes they don't even want to answer you because like they really don't know but if you know korean then that's not a problem like there's so many foreigners living here um you know and and we, when they know korean it's like nothing it's not a problem really really it's not a problem so and also uh like i said every country you know it has its, it has its rules so you have to abide on the, you, have to have, you have to abide the rules of the country so that you'll be able to survive in it and, and people you know people um would like like really see you as as their their own also because you have of course you don't you shouldn't be hard-headed when you settle in another country you know you have to respect their culture you have to respect their rules their laws so yeah i think i think that's the most important thing um if you're planning to to come here or even in other countries so yeah so uh that is the seven questions that i got here so um if you do have any more questions for me um please um send me a dm send some you know send some comments put some comments down there and i'll try to answer them on my next vlog okay so that's it for today thank you so much this is love again some people are asking me like what's your name okay sorry i have this is love. My name is Love. Okay, and um, uh, I'm a Filipino, and I live in Korea momentarily until everything, every uh, you know, until this pandemic is over. But I'll be coming back here in Korea every now and then because you know, Korean family. <laughs> so um, I'll try to answer your questions more on my next vlog or my next video. So thank you so much for today and see you next time.